Hey everybody, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate each and every one of you. Today we have a little bit of misty morning and focus combination. So, so good. Really, really good. Uh, today is going to be a little bit different. We're gonna do a quick review. Um, I had a few of you guys asking me, what audio mics do I use? Why do I use them? This type of thing. And uh, how much do they cost? Um, so what I'm doing today is I'm going to be listening to, with you, five different microphone setups. All right. Now, what kind of sparked this was some company sent me over a mic to test out. And the company, the name of it, I believe, is Be It Run, something like that. Anyways, B-I-E-T-R-U-N. All right, sorry for the pronunciation. Anyways, they sent it over for me to like take a look at. And instead of just speaking about that one mic, I wanted to kind of parlay that into all of your questions about what mics I use and why I use them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically let you listen to all five setups and then you could be the judge all right which one sounds the best to you for the money so i'll tell you exactly how much everything costs at the end but for right now just you know what we're using number one we're going to be using a road shotgun mic now that shotgun mic is over here on the camera itself and it's probably about two two and a half feet away so it's not in the most pristine spot Technically, it should be like closer to me here, but for right now, that's where it is. Let's just call it like some bass audio, but that's normally how you would use one of these shotgun mics, okay? So we have it over there. Next, we have a Tascam. Now, the Tascam is one of these lavalier mics, right? One of these lapel mics, and that's going right now, and we can see it right here, all right? So that is being recorded right on the Tascam um, DR-10L, that is like a mini recorder, and it is one of their lapel mics, which normally sounds really quite good. It's new. I just got this in probably about a week ago or so, so this is only about the second time I've used it. Now, I'll probably do a review just on this mic alone and tell you about it and tell you about the setup itself separately. But anyway, so that is number two. Also, we have an Audio Technica. Now, the one that I'm using is an atr 3350, but there's newer ones out there. And that's another lapel mic, okay? So that's two. Now that one is going into a Zoom H4N to record the audio. Next, we have that Be It Run. Now this is the mic that they sent me. They actually sent me two of these. It is wireless, kind of cool, all right? This is wireless and it's being sent, the signal is being sent right back into the H4N. On the back here, we can see they have echo, treble, bass, and then you can change the channels on here, right? To be able to get it to sync up, let's say. It is a UHF uh, microphone system, wireless, and uh, my understanding is that this mic will be able to send um, the signal about 100 feet um, away, which is really quite good. Anyway, so that is the next one. And then finally, we have this one that's right here. Now, this is the one that I use most of the time. That is my Electro Voice RE20. Now, the RE20 is a radio mic. It has been around for just decades, and a lot of people use it for radio. It has a smooth fall off. It's just a massive diaphragm in it. It is a true cardioid mic in comparison to this, which is a dynamic mic, all right, the one that they sent over. So like I said, we have the Rode, we have the Tascam lapel, we have the Audio Technica lapel, we have that Be It Run, let's call it, or Beat Trun, whatever it is, um, wireless, and finally we have the RE20. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read a little short excerpt from Green Eggs and Ham from Dr. Seuss. And uh, what I will do is I will take that audio that we capture and throw it into Audacity. Why? Because it's free. And I want to show you some of the stuff that we can do just for free. Because a lot of you guys are, like most of us these days, value conscious, right? ROI, return on investment. How much do I have to spend and what do I have to get out of it? And what does it sound like? 
All right, that is one of the big things and that's what we're kind of going for here. What is this all going to sound like? When I throw it into Audacity, I'm gonna basically just normalize all of those tracks. So they will be negative 0.5 dB, something like that, so that they're all on an even, let's say, playing field, okay? So we're gonna normalize it and then you will be able to listen to it. I will play it back, normalized, all five mics. After that, I'm going to then throw it back into Audacity, each one of them, and sweeten the audio, all right? I have a profile that I normally use for this RE20 and for some other mics, lapels. I'm gonna run these against all of this audio and then play this one more time for you so then you can hear what it sounds like once it comes out of Audacity, okay? Now, of course, you can use any audio editing software that you want, but this one was free and free is always good for the majority of us, right? So that's what we're going to use for this. So when we're all done, I'm gonna tell you the exact price of each one of these. And then I want you guys, let me know which one you think is the best value, which one sounds the best, and then which is probably something that you would go for. I'm gonna put a poll most likely into um, or attached, or I can't really attach it anymore, but on the channel itself, I will put a poll and then you guys can take a look at it and just let me know what you think, all right? Just select the one that you think is the best, maybe value or the best sounding. I'll probably do two polls, all right? One other thing that I wanna do before I go any further is I wanna give you guys a noise floor, all right? There's a little bit of noise in this room, just a tiny bit. I'm gonna say nothing for like, five, 10 seconds, just so you get a baseline as far as how much noise is produced by each one of these mics. That's it. I think that should be enough and then you have a gauge as far as how noisy the mics are just on their own. So let's go ahead and get started with this quick read of this Dr. Seuss, and then we're gonna go and play it back a couple of times. Do you like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Would you like them here or there? I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Sam, I am. Would you like them in a house? Would you like them with a mouse? I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Sam, I am. So that is the reading. We're now going to normalize, like I said, in Audacity and play the first one back. And that will be the Rode Shotgun Mic. Do you like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Would you like them here or there? I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you like them in a house? Would you like them with a mouse? I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Sam, I am. And now we'll play the task cam lapel mic. Do you like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Would you like them here or there? I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you like them in a house? Would you like them with a mouse? I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Sam, I am. And now we'll play the Audio Technica lapel mic. Do you like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Would you like them here or there? I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you like them in a house? Would you like them with a mouse? 
I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. And now we'll play the Be It Run wireless mic. Do you like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam, I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Would you like them here or there? I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. Would you like them in a house? Would you like them with a mouse? I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. And finally, we'll play the Electro Voice RE20. Do you like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Would you like them here or there? I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you like them in a house? Would you like them with a mouse? I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. So that is the baseline. Let's call it out of the box. Not really, but let's just call it out of the box with just simple normalization. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw it into Audacity one more time and we're gonna sweeten the audio a little bit for each mic. A little bit of treble, a little bit of bass, a little bit of the mids, get it sweetened slightly. So we're gonna do that right now and I'm gonna play them right back. So let's start out with the Rode Shotgun mic. Do you like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Would you like them here or there? I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you like them in a house? Would you like them with a mouse? I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. And now we'll move on to the Tascam lapel mic. Do you like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam, I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Would you like them here or there? I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. Would you like them in a house? Would you like them with a mouse? I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. And now you hear the Audio Technica mic. Do you like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Would you like them here or there? I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you like them in a house? Would you like them with a mouse? I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. And now it is the Be It Run wireless mic. Do you like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam, I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Would you like them here or there? I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. Would you like them in a house? Would you like them with a mouse? I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. And once again, finally, we have the Electro Voice RE20. 
Do you like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Would you like them here or there? I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you like them in a house? Would you like them with a mouse? I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Sam, I am. So that's it. That's basically what you can expect out of these mics. Now, a couple of caveats here. Number one, the RE20, because of the type of mic that it is, it has to go through a compressor. So this is going through a compressor and then over to the H4N. Whereas this, this dynamic mic, right? This new wireless that was sent over to me by Be It Run, let's call it. Um, this mic is a dynamic mic and it goes straight into the H4N as it is. So there's a little bit of a discrepancy there and there is a cost difference to being able to get an RE20 actually working. Now, let's go ahead and look at some pricing. The Rode mic is approximately $129. The Tascam is about $80 for the lapel mic. If you get the system all together with the mini audio recorder, it's about $210, all right? Give you an idea, $210. Also, the Audio-Technica lapel mic is only $35, and that's being routed directly into the H4N. Now, the Be It Run is going directly into the H4N. Also, like I said, it is a dynamic mic and it is 60 bucks, guys, $60. And finally, the Electro Voice RE20. This mic right here is about $500. It goes into the H4N, but the compressor is another couple of hundred dollars. So for this setup, you're probably looking about $700 minus the recorder. Okay, so it gives you an idea. We have $129, $210, $35, $59 or 60 bucks, and finally, let's call it 500 for the mic plus some. Let's call it 700. Very expensive. So what I want to hear from you guys is what do you think about these mics? What do you think about what is being produced for the money? How is the value? Do you need an RE20? Possibly, possibly not. For me, I needed it. I did a lot of podcasting with Trevor Current. We did Digital Photography Cafe. We traveled the country and we interviewed a lot of the movers and shakers as well as the CEOs of many of the companies that you know. So we needed these mics. How about the rest? Are these lapel mics good enough? Do they sound good enough? $200, let's say, versus $35. Or let's say the lapel itself is, let's call it $80, $90 for the mic itself, the Tascam, and you're looking at $35 for the Audio Technica. So, how are those? Or the Rode mic, the shotgun mic that's sitting on the camera itself in comparison to a little dynamic mic for $60. What do you guys think? I want to hear from you once again in the comment area. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know which mic you liked the best, what sounded the best, what you thought was the best value. And then finally, which one would you go for? All right. Which mic is better for you? So before I let you go, don't forget, go pick up my ebook over at jchristina.com forward slash ebook. Once again, jchristina.com forward slash ebook, 10 tips at making tack sharp images. Pick it up. Something there for amateurs, for pro-ams, as well as professionals. There's a lot of good information in there. Once again, it is free, jchristina.com forward slash ebook. Also, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. There's a lot of good content in here. You're looking at probably 400, 450 videos for you to take a look at. There's a lot. Subscribe. Also, click the little bell notification button over here so when I go live, you'll be notified. Or when I come out with new videos, you will also be notified. Also, we have a join button now. Wow. We have that join button. What that allows you to do is if you want to contribute to the channel, you can do so by clicking the join button and just simply providing a dollar or two per month or whatever. Any little bit definitely helps. Also, use promo code YT20 at checkout. 
if you go over to that jcristina.com site, you're going to see a lot of the products that I've invented over the last decade, decade and a half. From the Focus Pyramid to the PRT to all of the lens as well as sensor cleaning units and a lot of other things. Take a look. If there's something that you like, the holidays are here. Use promo code YT20 at checkout. and You're going to get 20% off everything that's in your shopping cart. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed putting it together. Let me know, like I said, your thoughts. Don't forget to take that poll, one or two polls. Don't forget to do that. And in the comment area, let me know your thoughts. And finally, if you have not yet joined our creative Discord server, go over to community.jchristina.com. Once again, community.jchristina.com. Go over there, check it out. It is free. Join that creative Discord server. It is awesome. There is hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of video people, photo people, and a ton of tech heads in there that are just willing to give you just amazing information. No trolls. Just like this channel is a no troll zone, community.jcristina.com. The Discord server is also a no troll zone. So go check it out. Sign up. It's free. So that's it, guys. I'm out of here for yet another vlog. Many blessings to you and your family. This is Vlogmas. I think number four now. I think it's number four. Let's keep them going. Stay safe and stay healthy. Okay.